The NFL trade deadline is quickly approaching, and the Patriots probably aren't going to be buyers, let's be honest. They're more likely going to be sellers, and Josh Uche has been a name that has been thrown around as one of the potential top trade candidates league-wide. Let's get into it. What is going on, Pats Nation? It's your boy, Colby, also known as Patriots Global, back here with another video. Today's video, as always, is brought to you by BetUS. We'll talk to you guys a little bit later how you can get an exclusive deal if you're trying to have a little bit of extra fun this upcoming football season. I know our New England Patriots haven't exactly performed the way that we were hoping, so we might have to find some external ways to have a little bit of extra fun. On your way in, guys, please make sure you leave a big like on this video. Subscribe to the channel for all of your New England Patriots news. And guys, let me know what you think about this. I'm trying to upgrade the channel. I'm trying to bring you guys better content this past week. I've been trying to brainstorm ways to do that. And one of my top ways was finding new ways to kind of put graphics on the screen. So let me know what you guys think about this. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Is it too much? Because at the end of the day, I just want to make content that you guys want to see. Now, one thing I do want to make clear here is the fact that the New England Patriots have not come out themselves, at least not yet, and have said that they are specifically shopping certain players, specifically here with Josh Uche. But the trade deadline, it's in a couple of weeks. This is the last time for all teams, especially these contenders, to make these last-minute moves. And there are a lot of teams league-wide that could use some pass rushers and Josh Uche in Really, his contract year here signed a one-year deal with the Patriots this offseason could look to go somewhere else to provide opposing teams that extra spark as they enter the postseason. We know that our New England Patriots, as unfortunate as it is, they're just not going to make the postseason. Now, everything's still up in the air. Who knows if Drake May can come in and just shock the world. Maybe he has a Houston Texans, C.J. Stroud-like impact. I really doubt it. But we're not even at the halfway mark. Anything can happen. But the truth is, is that the Patriots are in a rebuild mode. They're in year one of a rebuild. And we know that they like to build this team through the draft. Elliot Wolf said himself, one of the best ways to rebuild a team is through the draft. And one of the best ways at hitting on your picks in the draft is by having more opportunities in the draft, also known by having more draft picks. One of the big reasons that they ended up trading Matthew Judon. They want to get younger. They want to develop their own players that are young. So when they do start to compete, they start contending again. They have guys who are in their prime. Now, for those of you wondering when the trade deadline is for this year, is going to be November 4th at 4 p.m. So after that, no teams can make any more moves involving trades. The only additions you can make to your roster after that are going to be via free agency and the waiver wire. That is going to stay in place until the new league year in March of 2025. Now, I am also debating on making a couple of videos. One video I'm thinking about making is a couple of trade pieces on the Patriots that they could kind of push away before the trade deadline to try to get some extra capital and then make another video on maybe a couple of players. And I don't think that the Patriots are going to be buyers, but you never know. A couple of players that maybe they look into to help this team in the long run. Y'all let me know in the comment section if those are two ideas or two videos rather that you guys would like to see. But anyway, this Josh Uche rumor it's been thrown around from NFL Network, USA Today, and one, just one reporter that has come out, one writer that has come out, kind of throwing this Josh Uche idea around is Michael Middlehurst Schwartz from USA Today. And he said, and I quote, Uche was the subject of trade deadline speculation last season, but New England held on to him and re-signed the six foot one, 240 pound pass rushing specialist to a one year, $3 million deal this off season. But maybe the new regime that brought him back will be more open to moving on from him, giving the franchise his focus on the future. This wouldn't be a surprise. Like they alluded to, the Patriots almost traded Josh Uche at the trade deadline just a year ago. In fact, they were also rumored to be interested in Chase Young. I firmly believe that if the Patriots were had able to pull off a trade for Chase Young, who ended up going to the 49ers, Josh Uche wouldn't be a New England Patriot. 
Now, they bring him in during the offseason. Uche takes this big pay cut to stay with the Patriots. Well, at some point, there was rumor going around in the offseason that, you know, when the Patriots started giving around all these contract extensions and big contracts that Uche wasn't happy, he wanted an extension. Obviously, he didn't get that. He was originally drafted by the Patriots all the way back in 2020. Now, real quick, guys, before we continue on today's video, I want to give a massive shout out to the sponsors of this video and really this channel all football season long. And those are our buddies over at BetUS. Everybody on Roundtable Sports uses BetUS. Your favorite NFL YouTubers, I guarantee you, they use BetUS. And we all use BetUS for a reason. And right now, when you guys sign up, on their website or using their mobile app, super quick, done it myself. It takes less than 60 seconds. You use the promo code like you see on the screen, YouTube150. That is the promo code YouTube150. You'll be locked into an exclusive limited time offer of a 150% sign-up bonus on your first deposit, followed by a 125% sign-up bonus on your next two deposits all the way up to $2,000. Guys, that is a deal on your first three deposits. And with Drake May breaking out of the seams, finally giving the Patriots something exciting, we saw him absolutely kill it in the air in week one against the Houston Texans, who have a, a dominant defense, one of the best defenses in the league. He also has that rushing ability against the Jags. They're one of the worst. Team. Actually, they are the worst team in the NFL in containing mobile quarterbacks. So this could even be a game where Drake may get into the end zone with his feet. And if you're going to bet on Drake May this season, you're going to have a little bit of extra fun. The place to do that is BetUS. Remember that supporting the sponsors directly supports me here at Patriots Global, and we could not be here giving you guys this content without BetUS. BetUS can also give you a 200% crypto deposit deposit bonus. You can also get a 10% back on your net losses two times a year, and BetUS can give you your very own personalized account manager. They also have the best range of uh, things that you can bet on, right? You can bet on entertainment. You can even bet on politics, like who's going to be the next president, which is absolutely crazy. College football, NFL, basketball, baseball, horse racing, cricket, you name it. BetUS is going to allow you to bet on it. Please be smart, though, guys. Please, please, please be responsible. Never bet more than you can afford to ultimately lose. And if someone you know or love is dealing with an issue, please reach out to get that proper help you need. And if you go to BetUS's website, they actually have a page dedicated to getting that help you need. But thank you again to BetUS for sponsoring this video. And I know there's going to be a lot of Patriots fans listening to this being like, it's not going to happen because who in God's name is going to want Josh Uche? Josh Uche really only had a good season in 2022. That's actually when he broke off and was one of the top edge rushers in the National Football League. He was like a top 10, top 15 edge rusher in the NFL in 2022. And that's when we thought he was going to break out and ultimately didn't. But he showed a lot of promise. Even when the Patriots drafted him in 2020 in the second round, he comes in and he shows promise. And we say, okay, he's a rookie. He's going to grow from here. 2021, again, shows some promise. Didn't really like how the Patriots utilized him. They tried using him more so as a linebacker and not a pure edge rusher. And then in 2022, like we said, that was his breakout year. Then in 2023, Matthew Judon goes down. Uche's asked to step up and be the number one edge rusher for the Patriots. And he couldn't do it. Now, a large part of that was also because he was dealing with an injury. Let's call a spade a spade. Let's let's be honest here. But he's also not a number one edge rusher. He cannot be the guy that gets the most coverage, who, who gets the most attention from opposing offensive lines. The other thing, too, about Josh Uche is that he's a very one-dimensional edge rusher. He's a pin his ears back and strictly get to the quarterback. And as long as he is with a team that allows him to do that, and they understand his strengths and weaknesses and what he's going to bring to the team, then I think he can still be really good. I still think that Josh Uche can be a 2022 version of himself, just not here in New England. I just don't think that this is a place where he is going to thrive because this is a team that wants three down defensive linemen. You know, Keon White, he can stop the run and get to the quarterback. Josh Uche can strictly rush the quarterback, and that is it. He's not good at stopping the run. Not just that, but he's really not all that disciplined, and that's where the problem has aligned. So far this season, there are players in the Patriots locker room that have kind of subbed him. They haven't directly called him out for obvious reasons, but there have been players like Devon Godshaw, Jonathan Jones, who have come out and said there are players playing for themselves and not playing as a unit, and that's been one of the biggest issues. They're not disciplined, and it's been rumored that one of those players is Josh Uche. And if you look at the film, it would make a lot of sense. He's playing for himself. He's not doing what he should be. He's just pinning his ears back, trying to get to the quarterback, trying to 
win his matchups and trying to put up sacks, which also makes a lot of sense for his current situation, considering he hasn't looked good since 2022 and he's in the final year of his contract. And when I look at why opposing teams might want to try and add Uche before the trade deadline is one, like I said earlier, a player's ability to rush the passer is very, very valuable in today's league. But I also think they're going to see what he did in 2022 and say he just needs a change of scenery. Let's keep in mind, he took a pay cut to stay with the Patriots this offseason. He did have interest league-wide and just turned it down to try to stay with the Patriots and prove himself because this is somewhere that he wants to say, somewhere where he wants to play. He's also very young. He's only 26 years old. This is someone who's very much in his prime. And if he goes and he works out for a team, they can re-sign him to a big multi-year contract extension this offseason. And with him being on this one-year deal, it's very manageable both for the Patriots to get rid of him, but not just that, it's manageable for other teams to take him on. Not a lot of teams have cap space at this point in the season, right? I mean, we're almost halfway through the season already. A lot of teams have pretty much utilized all that cap space. And you still need a level of cap space for the rest of the season to play out incentives throughout the season that you owe players. If the Patriots do decide that they are going to trade Josh Uche, he only has a cap number of $2.9 million. If the Patriots decide to trade him, they will take on only $1 million in dead money, but they'll free up about $1.9 million in cap savings. As for these 2022 numbers, like I alluded to before, best season that we've seen from Josh Uche, uh, you know, who was it? Um, Matt Judon that season said that Josh Uche was actually the best pass rusher on the Patriots and that it wasn't him. That season, Uche goes off and puts up an overall grade of 83.1, a run defensive grade of 63.7, but an elite pass rush grade of 87.8, which was one of the best that year in the entire NFL amongst edge rushers. That year, he also put up 14 solo tackles, one assist, 12 total sacks, which was tied for 11th in the league, and also had two forced fumbles, which was tied for 13th in the league. In 2023, though, like I said before, when we all expected him to take this big step forward because of what we saw in 2022, he just wasn't able to do that. In every single category, just took this big step backwards, puts an overall grade up of 57.1, a run defensive grade of 61.5, but a massive, massive step back in terms of pass rush, going all the way down to an overall grade of 66.8. That season, he was able to put up about six solo tackles. That was tied for 114th in the NFL, eight assisted tackles. Three total sacks, which was tied for 87th. He goes from 11 and a half sacks the year prior, being uh, tied for 11th, to going all the way down to 87th with zero forced fumbles. Now, despite only putting up three total sacks in 2023, that did tie himself for the second best season he's had in the NFL thus far. Which then, of course, brings us to where the Patriots are so far here in 2024. He's already put up two sacks, right? If you look at his numbers so far throughout his career, 2020, his rookie year, one sack. 2021, three sacks. 2022, 11 and a half. And 2023, three. So he's on pace, at least right now, to have his second best season. Maybe even breaks it if he can kind of pop off here, which I'm not expecting. But if he's able to put up at least two sacks the rest of the season, he already cements himself in as the second best season that he's had so far. Now, overall right now, only has a grade of PFF of 59.1, run defensive grade of 64.6, so he is at least performing better to a degree than what he did last year. And his pass rush grade, definitely going up to what we saw in 2023 of 74.7. His two sacks so far are tied for 46 second in the NFL. He's also tied for 36 in solo tackles with 36. Now, obviously, these numbers don't show the lack of discipline like I alluded to earlier, and that's a big reason on why the Patriots could potentially move on is because of that lack of discipline and the fact that it's actually hurting the Patriots defense from playing the style of football that they want. And I can already hear the, the comments rolling in. Well, Patriots Global, one of our biggest weaknesses right now is the lack of depth at edge rusher. We really don't have a great pass rush. Keon White was one of the best edge rushers in the league to start the season. He has fallen off significantly, and even he has had some problems um, with his overall play and his consistency and actually playing cohesively as a unit with the rest of the players on the team rather than just pitting his ears back and doing what is best for himself and his own stats. Again, 
you have to understand that the Patriots aren't competing for anything. Right now, the Patriots are one of the worst teams in the NFL. And according to Tankathon, if the season ended today, which I know it doesn't, but if the season ended today, they would have the first overall pick in the 2025 NFL draft. I think they understand the fact that they aren't going anywhere and they want this team to be successful in 2025 and beyond and not try to go all marbles in and pray to God and hope for the best that a miracle is going to happen. And this team is somehow going to, to do the unthinkable and be good and make the postseason here in 2024. I think if you get rid of him, you're asking guys like Keon White to step up a lot more. I think you start playing Dietrich Wise more than we've seen. He really hasn't gotten a whole lot of playing time so far this season. It's really been Josh Uche and Keon White. But I also think you're asking Anthony Jennings to play a bigger role, which we know that they really believe in him. He's someone who always sticks to his duties, sticks to the game plan, and overall does what he's supposed to, and he's playing where he's supposed to, which I think is the most important thing too. Uh, O'Shane Zimenez, obviously out for the season. That's a guy that I would expect to step up in this case, but unfortunately they don't have him. But I think they'll also get creative with these linebackers. Jelani to buy a little bit more on the edge, maybe Sione Taki Taki on the edge a little bit, more on third down, these guys shooting the gaps and just finding creative ways to blitz, whether that's Kyle Duggar, whether that's Marte Mapu, who we've seen in recent weeks, there are ways to get around this. It's not going to help the Patriots pass rush by getting rid of Uche, but at the end of the day, you have to understand the circumstance of where the Patriots are. But, guys, this is where I kick it off to you. What do you think about these rumors going around that the New England Patriots could ship off Josh Uche before the end of the trade deadline on November 4th? You guys let me know in the comment section below. Of course, remember to leave a big like on this video. Subscribe to the channel for all of your New England Patriots news. A lot of great Patriots content coming your way, guys, and I got to know, I got to know, what do you think about this new outlook? You guys like the graphics? Do you not like the graphics? You guys let me know in the comment section because at the end of the day, this channel, this content, it is all for you guys. And I want to make sure that it is watchable for you. So you guys let me know. Without further ado, though, I appreciate you guys for watching. Again, shout out to BetUS. Make sure you guys check them out. Promo code YouTube150 for that exclusive offer. But until next time, go Pats.